Good evening, fellow Americans. This is Barack Obama. Ladies and gentlemen, it's September 6th, 2012. Welcome to the Democratic National Convention. That's right, it's the Democratic National Convention. Bill Clinton has just knocked everyone's socks off with a great speech defending Barack Obama, the worst Democrat ever. The worst Democrat in all the parallel universes of bad Democrats. The first Democrat ever to steal the nomination by smearing his opponents as racists. The first Democrat, or even president, to declare the right to kill anyone. The first Democrat who has job numbers just like Herbert Hoover. The first Democrat who has to convince the nation he's done a damn thing right. Good evening, fellow Americans. This is Barack Obama. Welcome to another transcendently wonderful Perry Logan show. This one called Bill Clinton's Boots, in reference to Perry Logan's firm belief that I, Barack Obama, am not fit to lick Bill Clinton's boots. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Austin's barely tolerated Perry. You suck! <laughs> Democrats, you suck! Ha! I guess that got your attention. Hey, Democrats, I don't know why you're giving me such a warm, a warm reception after Bill Clinton knocked everyone's socks off at this convention. Let's hear it for Bill Clinton, a real Democrat. Okay. Geez, I've had it with your applause. Don't you Democrats ever shut up. Hey, I'm just having some fun with you. This is Perry Logan. In case you just tuned in, this is Perry Logan. At the Democratic National Convention. A surprise guest, don't you get it? I jet packed in. I'm Perry Logan. I jet packed in. For this Democratic Convention with an impromptu uh, statement, I'm following Bill Clinton, and he really did knock everyone's socks off. Well, that's because everyone loves Bill Clinton, except the press, progressives, and the right. The thing about Bill Clinton was uh, the press hated him. Oh. Is it okay for me to recall this stuff? Am I losing my audience? Or did, or did I, I lose my, my audience, audience when, when I, I said, said Democrats, Democrats suck? suck. <laughs> no! <laughs> You know Democrats suck. You agree Democrats suck. 
Everybody knows Democrats suck. Repeat after me. Everybody knows Democrats suck. I said the Democrats suck. A Democrat suck. A suck, suck, suck. A Democrat suck. A suck, suck, suck. No, but really, I do appreciate the DNC giving me this little impromptu slot after Bill Clinton and before Obama. How's that? Yeah. Uh, in which I, I need to explain to you that I, Perry Logan, represent all the people who've quit the Democratic Party ever since Obama came to town. <laughs> It's, okay, will you calm down? I'm delivering a rambling, incoherent, impromptu talk at the Democratic Convention in which I am making some exceedingly interesting points. And first of all, I represent the countless Democrats. I'm trying to count them. This is me trying to count the Democrats who have fled the party ever since Obama came to town. Yes. Well, yes, well, yes, well. I, Perry Logan, represent the millions, I bet it's millions of people who've left the Democratic Party ever since Obama came to town. And I wanted to point out how delicious the irony is that just now, just recently in the real world, uh, President Bill Clinton, former President Bill Clinton, did indeed, as far, from what I hear, he knocked everyone's socks off at the Democratic National Convention. Well, you know, but he's not running for president, is he? In fact, you see, Bill Clinton's powerful words fairly overshadowed and blotted out that tiny little wimpy weenie we call Barack Obama. I'm sorry, I seem to have dashed thy spirit somewhat, eh, Democrats? Well, the thing that really struck me as I watched Bill Clinton, he was defending Obama. He was promoting Obama's uh, doomed presidential campaign. <laughs> is it okay if I call... Is it okay if I refer to it as Obama's doomed presidential campaign? <laughs> Sorry, Democrats, do not panic. Do not panic. It's only a show. It's only a very good show. Some of you have noticed that the doors are barred. <laughs> The doors to the Democratic National Committee convention. I wanted to point out something that really kind of like slays me, okay? Here's something funny. Obama, as you all know, Obama won the nomination partly by smearing Bill Clinton as a racist. F me! Hey, the only response to that is F me, right? But it's true, you see, I'm a witness. I'm a witness. There was a time back in 2008, I'm not going to go over it, back in 2008 when Obama was uh, duking it out with Hillary for the nomination, and I witnessed that the Obama people smeared the Clintons, both of them as racists to win the nomination. Or maybe you can explain to me why the Clinton's approval rating among African Americans plummeted overnight. Well, Democrats, it's a fact. You see, the Clinton's approval rating among African Americans back in 2008 plummeted overnight. What's your explanation? Hey, little Democrats, 
it's time to flee. What's your explanation for the fact that the Clinton's approval rating among African Americans, which was sky high, need I say the Clintons, both good Democrats, had approval ratings among African Americans that were sky high. They did. It was something like 97% approval of the Clintons. And do you know what? In 2008, those approval ratings dropped overnight. Thank you, Democrats. Thank hey, you. Democrats. I'm going to let you out soon, okay? But not until you give me another explanation. Uh, other than the fact that they were being smeared as racists for why the Clintons' approval ratings would plummet overnight. Any takers? Because they were being smeared as racists? Thank you, Mr. President. I didn't realize you were locked in here with the rest of us. Yes, you see, the only explanation I can think of for the fact that the Clintons' approval ratings plunged overnight back there in 2008 was they were being smeared as racists. Far out, right? Whoa, Jim. Yeah, Tim. Harry Logan is really knocking him dead at the Democratic Convention. No, Tim, it looks like they knocked Perry over. They love him so much, Tim. Perry Logan is here as a representative of the millions of people who have left the Democratic Party ever since Obama came into town. Far out, Tim. Hey, Democrats, thanks for blowing all those opportunities. Does anyone but me remember those opportunities and the bright look of the future that everyone had in 2008? <laughs> well, not everyone. Not the right, you see, who were on their knees, which is just where the right belongs. The right. That kind of genetically inferior splinter group of the white guy tribe. The whites. <laughs> the right were in 2008 by their own misdeeds broken and bleeding in the cyborg and on their knees. Visualize the right on their knees. Uh, broken and bleeding and all this. This is all like metaphor, satire, okay? And we had the prospect of a democratic decade. Oh, it would turn me on. But what happened? Somehow, all of it went bad. Not just some, some of it, Democrats. Democrats. Hello? Could, Could you, you stop, stop calling me a racist, racist for just, for just a minute so I can explain? explain? Democrats, Democrats, don't you remember? It all went bad. Obama was going to help the economy, and poverty is going up at record rates. This is not what you call getting better. <laughs> poverty really is going up, Democrats. Uh, you know, you gotta face it. Uh, you could, you could like prove things are getting worse a thousand times over. And, and it's another reason why your stats are looking bad, you see? Hey, you're having trouble pulling ahead of Dog on the Roof Romney. Democrats, I love Dog on the Roof, but he is so obviously an oaf. I said an oaf. <laughs> uh, he's the worst campaigner ever, and of course, He's going to follow the far-right agenda. And yes, of course, destroy the country. Uh, uh, did you think I was telling people to vote for Romney or a Republican? Are you people not paying attention? I feel better. Voting for Republicans is essentially treason. Hey, come on, man. They stole two, that's two, successive presidential elections. And now they're obviously preparing to steal a third. Democrats, hello? 
You know, it really doesn't matter about your convention and Bill Clinton and all the talk, to, you know, whether anybody feels any way. Uh, they're going to steal it. Haven't you noticed the Republicans are going to steal it? Did he say the Republicans are going to steal this one? Is it really that close? Votes! Votes! Bill Clinton's votes! I'm not fit to take a Bill Clinton's votes! That's pretty catchy! Bill Clinton's votes! I votes! I votes! I Bill Clinton's votes! At this point, I would like to introduce, via satellite, Loga of the planet Loga. Just stare at that little blue thing there, okay? It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Hello, Democrat! <laughs> um, uh... This is not Logar of the planet Logar. Uh, Logar is going to the bathroom. Okay, it happens to all of us. And here on Logar, going to the bathroom takes a long, 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 long time. This is Shut up! Shut up! Ha ha! Logar, a very funny fellow. <laughs> Ugly little sucker, isn't he? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> this is Logar's amanuensis Logar. Is everybody named Logar on this planet? Yes. It's the only name we know. And I would like to take this opportunity to address the Democratic National Convention. Uh, the doors have been barred, and you will be ray-gunned if you try to escape, my sweet Democrats. People shouldn't vote for you, Democrats. You should quit the party. We should all quit. Well, not me. I'm from Logar. <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> My friends, in my humble opinion, I do agree, even though I'm from Logar, even though I'm Logar, okay, I am Logar's amanuensis, and that's all. Okay, that's all. And Logar, Perry Logan, and I are all on the same page. That's a metaphor. When we say, please, do vote. Do vote in the upcoming election, disgusting as it is, odious as it may be. Try to vote, uh, try to vote for the Greens. I'm here to tell you that Logar has gone green. Logar and Perry Logan have pretty much gone green. That's why everything is green. <laughs> Do not panic, Democrats. Okay. My fellow lefties and Perry's fellow lefties give him a hard time. Uh, lefties are not very uh, sweet on the idea of third parties, but I think you should vote for them, if only for the sake of your brain. <laughs> vote third party for the sake of your brain, Democrats. Quit Democrats, go, flee. We will unlock the doors now, Democrats. Run, flee. Flee this corporate party. Flee this party which is sending out drones to kill civilians. Flee this party which has turned the Democrats into some awful Republican kind of a neocon icky thing. And go green. Go green. Hi. These are the great green lips. Go green. Go green, oh thou, if only for the 
sake of your brain, by which... I mean, in very serious terms, that if you vote for the progressive third party of your choice, and the Greens are looking fine, I'm telling you. Well, all kidding aside, the Greens are looking good, but other lefties are looking good. The point is we need to send a message. I don't care how hostile you people are to voting third party, and they say they never win, and they say a lot of dumb things. Look at it this way. It will send a message. That's what we desperately need to do. Through protest, peaceful protest, we need to send a message, and also through the political uh, theater, rotten as it is. It's to send a message and fill your brain with endorphins. <laughs> By which I mean, voting third party uh, will uh, do wonders for your self-esteem to say nothing of your karma. Did he say karma? This is the Buddha. No, 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 this is the Buddha. This is the Buddha. No, 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 this is the Buddha. Knock it off, guys. This is the Buddha. Did Logar's amanuensis Logar just say voting for the progressive third party of your choice is good? For your karma? Well, yes, he did. And Logar's amanuensis Logar speaks truth. I, the Buddha, confirm the truth. By contrast, voting for the Democrats is bad for your karma. It will cause your stomach to cramp. It will cause migraine headaches. It will cause your eyeballs to pop out. It will cause your teeth to explode. It will cause your whole head to be crushed. There will be feces, pus, blood. This is not the real Buddha! 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 Mouth with my big message. I have it short and sweet, okay? This is to anyone who is contemplating damaging their karma by voting Democratic in 2012. I guess this would include all of my captives here at the convention, uh, whom I'm urging to turn green. I'm urging everyone to turn green. Look at it this way. You'll feel better. I promise you, you will not have the gut-wrenching despair you feel now. That kind of proves that your vote for the Democrats in the last election was misused. Thank you. Thank you. This is Magnum Mouth. We'll try it again if you want. <laughs> I'm a Magnum Mouth. Oh, yes, I am. Hi. 
Hi, this is Magna Mouth. Have I mentioned thank you for watching? Thank you for coming with us into this like fantasy democratic convention where Perry Logan gives his take on things, urging us all to turn green. <laughs> or to the progressive third party of your choice. Now, look at it this way. Look, calm down. Lefties get pretty freaked out by this. That's why you're all in restraint. <laughs> hey, this is Magnum Mouth. My mouth is getting bigger. Where did voting Democratic get you? Oh, Democrats. Yes. I think we can safely say Obama does not fit into the boots of Bill Clinton very well. And if your vote for the Democrats were really the right choice, you wouldn't be filled with gut-wrenching despair right now. <laughs> Goodbye, Good Democrats. Democrats. Bill Clinton's boots. I 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 boots. I